Welcome back to Subaru. Today, we're gonna to be changing out the master and slave clutch cylinder on a 2006 WRX Impreza. Let's get started. Let's actually begin inside the car. It's right here. So it's this pin right at my finger. Let's go ahead and remove that pin. And there's the pin. Now let's pop the hood. Um, do you want me to close the hood and then you can take a shot of it bumping up? If you really want to. It so cool. Let me know. Yep. That was even cooler. That was we'll so do another take. That's so dramatic. I don't think you need that many hood shots. Perfect. Man. All right, to get to the master and slave cylinder, you're gonna have to take off that front mount intercooler and then it'll be right behind it. Don't forget the gasket. I'm gonna need a 10. All right, we want this guy. Seriously, it's an eight. We want to loosen this one and loosen these guys. Power tools. Didn't do shit. Nasty. Now we're ready to remove. Oh, clean. This is the master slave. We're gonna go ahead and drain the master clutch cylinder of fluid. To extract the fluid, we're gonna use a bleeder kit. All right, let's go ahead and drain it. Drained. So let's go ahead and remove this line. There we go. So let's remove the two nuts, one on each side of the master, and then we'll be able to pull the master out. It hit the ground, it's fine. It hit the ground, I heard it. Did it bounce out from under Dude. your car? It's right there. Drop it again. Ta-da! <laughs> so now we want the other one, which is right here. Now you're supposed to just do that forever. This is a how-to video, and we don't even know how to. Sounds about right. Yeah. Ta-da. Beautiful. All right, now we can remove the master. Bolts out. Oh. There we go. That's the old master. So now we can disconnect the slave and its line. So let's disconnect the line first. Since our new master has a new braided line, we won't need this line anymore. We disconnected the line from the slave, so we're gonna go ahead and remove the slave. Take out this bolt, take out this bolt. And there's our slave. Looks a bit used. There's that bolt. 
and then we can take out the entire line. All right, the master and slave are out, so let's put the new ones in. Gaping. I'm gonna put in the master first because we have to match the length from the old master to the new master, so let's get that going. So I think that's about the same pin spot. So we're gonna go ahead and lock it at that point. You a bug. That should be about good. So now this is gonna be the pin that we're gonna use back inside. So we're gonna put this back into the wall and then connect it. So we're just gonna go ahead, feed it right in there. There we go. Put our bolt right back on. Let's see if we can keep them on. All right, once we bolt these down, we're gonna get back inside the car and connect the pin back to the clutch. Let's go back in the car. This thing. All right, so we just need to reconnect that. So then you'll put your new one onto the clutch, put the pin through, and then put this through it so it'll lock it. But under there. Okay. Oh. There's no But pressure. there's no fluid. Good, we're done in here. Great. All right, so we have the master in. We connected it inside with the clutch. We connected these two bolts. So now let's put in the slave. You'll want to line it up right with that hole and then we'll put the bolts right there. Great, let's tighten that down. So now let's connect the line that'll connect the master to the slave. Packaging is great. It's so easy to work with. How is it still stuck on here? All right. Stainless steel braided line. Bolt with washers. So then we're going to put a washer on each end of it and then put this on. So one end of these is flat and the other one's curved. So this one's going to go on the master and this one's going to go on the slave. There we go. Now we just need to connect this one right here. So they give you enough lines so you can really put it wherever, but we're just gonna go right under here, right to it. Right there. All right, we got them both tightened, so now this is what it looks like. All right, now we just have to mount our reservoir. So we're gonna mount this guy right here. Great. Okay, now that this is mounted, we need to connect the hose from the master reservoir to the master clutch cylinder. We're gonna cut off a little bit of the line just so we don't have all this extra. Done. All right, now that it's all hooked up, we just need to add fluid and then we'll bleed the system. This isn't open, so it's not letting anything in the system. That way. So I went in and pumped the pedal, filled the reservoir. I uh, pumped the clutch pedal after filling the reservoir, got the fluid going through the system, 
and now it's coming out the bleeder. So we're gonna close the bleeder and then we're gonna check the clutch again. And then see how it feels and then see if it pushes on the fork. All right, everything looks good, so let's reassemble it all. I like to align the bottom coupler a bit so it gets on that turbo. And this kind of just pushes down. Oh, like a glove. So we got those connected. We'll connect these hoses. Let's put this bolt back in. You have a bolt on that side or not? No. Cool. Gasket and our bolts. Done. Got it. That's it. Definitely shifts into gear a bit better. Reverse is no problem. All right, let's take first spin. Yeah, the clutch feels good. It's definitely a bit stiffer. Shifts into gears great. Uh, you can feel it's a little bit smoother when it shifts into gears. It slides right into gear when it gave a little bit of resistance before, but yeah, it feels good. Because there's like a huge hole right there. What the hell? And that's how you change out both your master and slave clutch cylinder. If you found this video useful, give it a like and subscribe for more Subaru content. I'll see you in the next install. Bye.